Forget messy CSV exports and legacy tools that make finding insights about your meta ads campaigns nearly impossible. In the next five minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can build an interactive dashboard for your own meta ads account that gives you real-time updates on any campaign that you're running. Quadratic can connect directly to your Facebook API, making your next monthly report 10 times easier. Let's see how. All right, let's get started here. So you really only need two things to get started with the marketing API from Meta, and that is your ad account address, as well as your access token. Now the ad account number uh, is just going to be found in your campaign management dashboard here on the top by your name when you're looking at your, your campaign view. So super easy to grab that, copy it, and save it somewhere safe uh, for use with the API later on in Quadratic. Now the second thing is a bit more confusing, um, but I'm going to walk you through it very quickly. The first thing you need to do is create a meta developer account. Now I've already created an account, but uh, so I'm unable to run through this step again since you can only have one meta developer account per email address. Uh, but you're going to follow through uh, with this registration link and it's just going to ask you to agree to the terms and policies, verify your account, select your occupation, uh, and move forward from there. So pretty straightforward. The next thing you'll need to do is create an app. Now, the application that you're going to use to interface with your meta API data is actually quadratic. So uh, you can just create some sort of test application. Uh, it doesn't have to be very complicated. What you're going to do is come over to this link once you've created a developer account and click the uh, get started button here next to create an app. Now I can run through this modal here and just call it this. Make sure you put in an email that you're checking regularly, hit next. And the most important part of this sign up here for creating an app is to deselect this use case. These are various things that you can do with different meta APIs, uh, but we're only looking to get analytics data from your ad campaigns within meta. And so we're going to select other as the use case. Click next. Now we'll go ahead and register this as a business app and select your business portfolio if uh, that's where your ads data lives. Um, I was unable to connect our quadratic ads data to our business portfolio. So right now our ads are being run under my Facebook account. Uh, this may be different for you. Go ahead and create the app, type in your password. And once you fill in your password, you're going to be taken to the app dashboard here. The only thing we need to do in this dashboard is click on app review in the left sidebar, permissions and features. And we're going to give the proper permission to our application so that we can access the API. Now, the only permission that you need to get access to is if you type in standard, you'll find this ads management standard access. Now, if this is your first application that you're creating through the Meta API dashboard, uh, you will need to request standard access. This is typically done through an automated check and you'll be able to access it instantly. We do not need to request advanced access. Standard will be enough for us. Once you've completed that, then you can head over to the developer tools section of uh, the developer console here in Meta ads and click on the graph API Explorer. This is finally where you're able to access your access token. So we're going to select our application that we've just created. We're going to get a user access token and the permissions that we need here is called ads read. So just search for that and click it. And then we will generate our access token. This will bring you to um, Facebook where you can sign in. And note that uh, you'll typically be redirected back to Facebook to sign in and reconnect your application um, every, every so often. So if your session expires, uh, you're heading back to Quadratic to uh, you know, re, re look at some of your analytics, you might need to generate a new access token. These typically expire uh, after about 24 hours. So uh, now that we have this access token, let's also save this in a, in a safe place. And we can head over to Quadratic to input this in and start looking at our data. All right, here comes the fun part. So now that we have our user access token, we can go ahead and paste that in here. We can grab our ad account ID from the dashboard within Meta Ads, paste that here, and the dashboard should go ahead and populate with your campaign data. Uh, what we're looking at here is um, the entire life of these two campaigns that we've run on Meta Ads, the ad set names within those campaigns, reach, views, amount span, link clicks, and complete registration, which is the specific uh, conversion action that I chose for my data. You can update any of this code in the Python code cell in order to expand the date ranges or refine it to what you need here. Uh, you can update the actual uh, metrics that you want to track um, in, the, uh, in the code here, or you could just ask the AI to do it for you, which is uh, 
what I did myself as I'm not much of a developer, but was able to set up this entire API within Quadratic uh, without any Python or other coding knowledge, which is pretty incredible. Uh, this tool makes me feel very powerful. Uh, and, and once your data is populated into this Python table directly from the API, these uh, Python charts are going to update um, to show you some interesting analytics about that campaign data. We can look at the daily reach over time in a line chart. We can look at the weekly link clicks over time. We can look at the weekly ad spend and hovering over these values will show you everything uh, that you might be interested in within the chart. We can look at how many views from these campaigns are actually turning into link clicks and turning into registrations. So seeing that uh, those the funnel of, of traffic into your app or, or whatever your goal is can be really helpful for marketers to uh, help to refine that funnel and see where any bottlenecks are. Uh, you can also see your ROI with this table here. And this template is fully, uh, fully functional, interactive. Uh, you know, you can zoom into specific metrics. You can update the code for, for any of these charts or create new charts, depending on what you're looking to identify about the, your ad campaigns that you've run in meta ads and um, really just make it yours. So I hope that you found some, some value in this video and you can take your advertising campaign performance metrics and dump them into, into Quadratic in a more automated way to um, take a, a deeper look into your, into your metrics beyond what those native ad platforms are providing in their dashboards. Uh, this could be really helpful for uh, users that are at ad agencies that want to compare the performance of their uh, various different multi-channel marketing campaigns. Um, or if you just are running on meta ads and you want to get some quick insights without having to go into their clunky platform, uh, this, is, this is the place to do it. So let me know what you think in the, in the comments and uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.